It's love in the age of Tinder. It's marriage in the age of Ashley Madison. The road to online bliss has never been so fraught with competition. So how can eHarmony, one of the earliest players in the online dating space, keep its market share? Let's ask the founder, Neil Clark Warren. He joins us now. Uh, he started the online dating site that boasts over 66 million users and joins us from L.A., and, uh, Neil, to be fair, I think of eHarmony as an entirely different product than Ashley Madison or, in fact, Tinder. You're trying to hook people up with real solid relationships. Am I right? I'm, you're definitely right. And thank you for say, saying that. We think we're in a totally different business from, obviously, from Ashley Madison, but even from Tinder, which relates more to younger people, I think, and we're looking for long-term, lifetime relationships. Although your biggest growing demographic, first of all, I, note, I noted that you have many members over the age of 80, but if I'm correct, your fastest growing demographic, and I, I guess I am from this graphic, is 25 to 35 years old. So it's not that you have a shortage of young people using eHarmony. No, we have a lot of young people, and we, we just had, for instance, a weekend in which we had about 80,000 new, new uh, registrants on our site. Uh, we're growing very rapidly. We're, we're so glad we came back uh, and got focused again on what the mission of eHarmony is. But we also have some other products that, that we're excited about. All in all, eHarmony has never been in better shape. Yeah, and I, I want to talk to you about the... Uh the other products in a moment, but I noticed another stat there. 55% of your users are women, as opposed to Ashley Madison, where it may have been 5%. Um, you actually have real live women on your site. These are not bots, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, we don't have anybody who's not real live on our site. We we take great pains to make sure of the of that. And of course, when people answer 250 questions, they're, they're taking our process very seriously. And uh, women love that process. They like answering questions about themselves. But interestingly enough, women like men who are willing to answer those questions, too. Yeah, well, and women like men who ask the question, because 80 percent of contact is initiated by women, uh, by men, I should say. Uh, the women aren't going out there and, and tapping the men. They're just putting their profiles on and it looks like waiting for the most part. Um, everyone's data, though, Neil, is susceptible to a hack attack. And I believe you had a password yeah. breach a, f a few years ago. You are online. Uh, how serious are you then about security? We've never been so serious about security. We're spending several million dollars a year to make sure that our security is just as solid as it can be, recognizing that even the FBI has been hacked. Uh, and a lot of places have been hacked. Sony was hacked and other people. We don't want to get uh, too prideful about that, but we, we think we've got uh, the most privacy that anybody could possibly have in this, uh, in this world now in which people try to break into your privacy information as much as they do. Well, and you have, I mean, as you just said, you also have the most in-depth profile information on people in the, I guess, romance uh, world, uh, to, to, to put it broadly. Um, you're, you're converting that kind of data or that kind, those kind of skills that you've built up, identifying people, making matches to the jobs industry. Tell us about that. Oh, thanks for asking about that, Matt. Uh, we, we think that uh, one of the one of the most unrecognized dilemmas that Americans have is that only about 30 percent of Americans like the job they currently have. They wish they could have a better relationship with the person to whom they report. They wish they could have a better culture fit with the company that they're working for. They wish that they felt stronger about their own fit in terms of uh, skills and qualities for the particular job. We're trying to do 
to do the job that we've done for matching people for marriage. We think we've had about 2 million, maybe slightly over 2 million marriages now, and we have a divorce rate of only 3.86%. We're trying to do the same thing for jobs, and if we do, that's going to be a revolution in America. If 100% or 80% of Americans could really like the job they have, that's going to have a big impact on the marriages they have and on yep. the rest of our society. But Neil, it's, I mean, I'm sure that job seekers are going to love this. Uh, will you have the take rate from employers that you have, say, for women on eHarmony? Well, well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to do something in the B to B range, that is business to business range, that will be slightly different for eHarmony. We, we have to learn how to relate to HR groups in large groups. You know, there are 800 thousand companies in America and and we want to have a thousand of those companies on board Got before it. we even uh, release Got this it. product.